Luffy, what are you doing? Oh my god, I can't take it. I can look. What the hell? Power couple Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez have a thing for the 305 and love luxurious Miami real estate. They just paid a whopping 40 mil for a Star Island home that looks more like a resort. Besides this, the pair maintains an A-list collection of properties including another modern Miami spa, a gorgeous compound in Bel Air, a cottage in Encino, a Hamptons getaway and more. We'll take a look at a few of their multi-million dollar properties including the new one and we even found the listings. Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez have spent a lot of the quarantine with their family in Miami at one of their properties which A-Rod has owned for some years now. We can see the modern home in some of their Instagram posts. It makes sense that they wanted to up their house game while they were at it. The couple loves Miami and this time it's on the exclusive Star Island. Jennifer Lopez aka JLo is an actress, singer, dancer, fashion designer, producer and more who rose to fame in the 90s starring as Selena. She was the first Latin actress to earn over 1 million dollars for a film, later becoming the highest paid Latin actress in all of Hollywood. Between her movies, albums, business ventures and everything in between, the woman has built herself an empire and then some. JLo has been ranked by Forbes as the most powerful celebrity in the world as well as the most influential Latin entertainer in the US. All things considered, her current estimated net worth is at about $400 million or more. Joining forces with her fiance Alex Rodriguez, they didn't only blend their families but their finances as well. A-Rod is a former professional baseball player who played 22 seasons in MLB and considered one of the greatest baseball players of all time. He's broken a ton of records in the sport, also being a 14-time All-Star and winning multiple awards. A-Rod has signed two of the most lucrative baseball contracts over his career and these days his estimated net worth sits at about $350 million. That's quite the joint bank account for this couple. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Although we've done a bit on JLo's properties, her and A-Rod have purchased more homes since, so we'll take a look at the couple's jaw-dropping mansions, including their new Star Island spot, the new house in Encino, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on couples like Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade and Russell Wilson and Sierra and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. It was reported that just last month JLo and A-Rod bought another West Coast property. Nope, I'm not even talking about the Miami mansion yet, because they also bought a home in Encino, California. The couple paid almost $1.4 million for this cozy property in LA's San Fernando Valley enclave of Encino, the once overlooked neighborhood that's seen a massive surge in popularity with celebs looking for the suburbs. Built in 1948, the 2,202 square foot one story home offers a blend of contemporary and retro furnishings and a mid-century ranch style layout. While the exterior of the house is modest, the home's been renovated to include all of the modern amenities and offers three beds and 2.5 baths. The couple's new residential acquisition is humble in size and not big enough for their family, suggesting it was either purchased for a lucky relative or as a real estate investment. The front door opens to the spacious dining and living areas with black framed windows, white walls and light hardwood floors. The dining room side has a vaulted wood ceiling that's colored deep charcoal and so does the den, which includes a fireplace and wooden mantle. Installed this year, the brand new open kitchen has ash gray cabinets, a center island and stainless steel appliances. French doors connect the kitchen to a covered patio with plenty of space for outdoor dining. The master bedroom has half vaulted wood ceilings and two large closets, one of them a walk-in. The ensuite bath offers a walk-in shower, floating tub and double sink vanity. The other two guest rooms share a large bathroom. On the grounds, there's a garage and tucked behind it is a 200 square foot office, perfect for privacy if working from home. The gated corner lot property has solar panels and security cameras throughout and simple landscaping with fake grass for carefree maintenance. Although JLo's Instagram has shown her recently spending some time in Central Park, likely staying at their Manhattan property, for most of the pandemic the blended family resided in their main Miami residence. I'm not talking about the new $40 million one, they already have one in South Florida that Alex has owned for some years now. The family social distanced in style in their glassy modern home with all four of their kids. Photos and videos shared by JLo and Alex show the family using the property's impressive garden while they did a relationship quiz by the swimming pool. Another clip showed Max serving his stepdad a drink on a Segway rolling across their lawn. 
Alex bought the one and a half acre plot of land in Coral Gables, Miami in 2013 for 2.69 million and enlisted a team of architects to construct the house there. The home spans 11,877 square feet of space and is full of mid-century and modern touches with floor to ceiling glass throughout. A 24 foot cantilevered entry canopy greets guests and leads to the spacious common areas. The kitchen is comprised of industrial materials like steel and concrete with dark woods and a ton of bar seating. I wanted to incorporate the outside living with the inside and really uh, it was my goal to, for you not to be able to tell whether you're inside or outside and that's what makes Florida and Miami living so special. The living room has walls of black and steel, plush couches and a shag carpet. Window walls can retract to open the living spaces up to the garden, giving an indoor-outdoor vibe throughout the entire home. Alex also included some seriously impressive artist decoration here, but although it's a home showcasing creativity, it's also ideal for entertaining. There's a lounge, indoor basketball court, and even a home gym where JLo has kept up with her fitness routine during the pandemic. She was joined by her 12-year-old daughter to dance in the workout area, which has several cardio machines like a treadmill, cross trainer, and a bike. The bar and lounge area was designed as a large open space with a full height barn door, and next door you'll find the cozy home movie theater. The couple's sprawling yard boasts a wet edge swimming pool, freestanding bar pavilion, and an in-ground trampoline, which is a hit with the kids. While this custom Miami home is stacked with all the luxury amenities one could dream of, JLo and A-Rod invested in yet another top tier property. Most recently, our sources tell us the power couple scooped up a massive waterfront estate on Star Island, Miami's super private enclave for celebs and business tycoons. And JLo and A-Rod will they check off both of those boxes. It's too early to tell whether the real estate lovers are buying the mega mansion as a new place to live or as an investment, but either way it's something else. JLo and A-Rod bought the mansion for a whopping $40 million and the home is certainly something to brag about. The house sits on a lot spanning almost an acre with 100 feet of waterfront and inside offers 14,782 square feet of living space. There are 10 beds and 10.5 baths spread over two stories of contemporary house. The estate is located in the exclusive Star Island community which is guard gated as you may have guessed and the epitome of luxury living. There are views of Biscayne Bay and the Miami skyline from all over the home and there are features like exquisite stone floors, Venetian plaster walls and an elevator. The entry path is lined with palm trees and they also line the pool out back. Walking in, there's a huge double height entry with windows looking over the front door and a large balcony. One of the living rooms offers French doors out to the pool and a huge detailed stone fireplace. Also on the main level, you'll find an industrial style chef's kitchen, formal dining room, a bar slash lounge with enclosed wine room, library, and a den. The second floor holds the principal suite, which is too large to even be called a master bedroom, and it's definitely where A-Rod and JLo would settle in. It sports a sitting room, office, and two large terraces with bay views, and that doesn't even include the main bedroom section. The attached bath has an expansive onyx and glass steam shower, large walk-in closet, and custom spa tub. In photos, we can see that aside from the lavish guest rooms and ensuite baths, there's another detached structure on the property which appears to be a guest house above a garage. It sits beside a basketball court and offers stairs leading up to the front door. The outdoor amenities on JLo and A-Rod's new property are resort-like with a sprawling pool and spa, cabana, and full covered bar with seating. There's also the private 100-foot wood dock and access to the Atlantic Ocean. If this $40 million mansion isn't a dream vacation spot, I don't know what is. Besides these three homes that JLo and A-Rod spent a lot of their time in, the couple also has a compound in Bel Air, which we took a look at in our previous JLo house tour, which reportedly cost her $28 million and is one of my fave celebrity homes I've seen. They also have a massive getaway in the Hamptons, a $20 million penthouse in Manhattan, and if that's not enough, they recently listed their fixer-upper oceanfront home in Malibu, renovated by HGTV star Joanna Gaines. After looking at the star couple Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez's properties, like their current Miami home, their new modest Encino property, and the mega jaw-dropping $40 million mansion on Star Island they just bought, what did you guys think? I gotta say it's a lot of real estate to keep up with, but when you have the kind of bank account this couple does, no expense needs to be spared. If you want to see their other gorgeous properties, be sure to check out the other JLo house tour we did on this channel because they're worth taking a look at. As usual, let me know in the comments which one of JLo and A-Rod's homes was your fave and which celeb house tour should be up next. Follow me on Instagram so we can chat. Be sure to like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!